Through his agents, Monsieur Talleyrand indicated that for negotiations to proceed, a sum of money was first required for the pockets of the French government and its ministers. That the price would be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for himself. And uh, a loan of ten million to demonstrate our good faith. I am left no ground on which to expect our diplomatic mission to be accomplished in terms compatible with either the safety or the honor of this nation. Congress is prepared to grant my request to arm our merchant vessels and to fortify our harbors. And should the need arise, we must be prepared to defend our borders with an army, yes. And to that end, I can think of no man better to lend the notion gravity than General Washington. He will be a commander in name only, you must know that. You cannot expect him to take the field at his age. General Washington will defer to Mr. Hamilton as he always has. The result will be a provocation of the most immense order. And what precisely is Monsieur Talleyrand's unbridled contempt but a provocation? War has been this administration's policy from the beginning. To pretend otherwise is disingenuous in the extreme. If there is to be a war, Mr. Vice President, it will be France's doing and not mine.